Hello, I'm your host, Ingvar, and this is my lovely assistant, Wolf. Hello. So, this is a really simple recipe. Let's, let's see how this all hammers out. It's gonna be great. Right? MOVE, DAMN YOU! So the ingredients for this thing is really simple. And if you don't have any of this stuff, it comes out to about $10 at the grocery store. The most expensive part being the sourdough bowl, which is round and a lot like the, the shape of the universe and the consciousness we all float in. Um, what are we making? Oh, uh, yeah, well, when we found it on the internet, it was called a cheddar bacon ranch pull. Instead of that, I'm going to call it a blood thickening cram loaf. So the first thing you're going to do is cut your bread in both directions, but don't cut the bottom because you're going to be putting stuff in the slits. Hang on while Wolf figures this out. Oh wow, good job man. So like, cutting the bread both ways is probably the trickiest part of the whole thing. But it's it only takes like three minutes really. So the next part is you take your delicious cheese. And again, we're using provolone instead of cheddar just because. Um, feel free to mix it up however you like. And also, try to like put in a good mental note for the cow that gave you the milk to make the cheese because being a cow probably sucks pretty bad and another positive thought in the universe probably wouldn't help sh shit so that took like another five minutes and was actually kind of tricky but this is not even six ounces and I used all the pieces except for like two of them Preheat your oven to 350 degrees, man. Now you take your real bacon bits and then you pour that over the cheese and make sure to get them in the cuts too. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna use, but we'll see. Oh my god, this is crazy. Mm. This loaf is bananas. You just finished the verse in your head, didn't you? Anyway. Next, you melt the butter. And then you're gonna mix that with a tablespoon of ranch dressing. Huh. Gross. So you'll never guess what we're gonna do with this malarkey. Although, you probably have already. Put your loaf on a baking sheet or pan or something, like before this next part, in case it gets messy. Oh my god, are you serious right now? So we're gonna bake for 15 minutes at 350 and like then take the foil off and bake for another 10 minutes or until the cheese melts. I like to point out that it's bullshit that Spongebob always goes first. Do you have any blue beans? Damn it. Honestly, I have no idea how to eat this. Like, where do you even start with a loaf of this magnitude? Oh my god, it's delicious.
It may not look like much until you realize that the cheese and the butter and the ranch has gotten into the the inside of the bread. Oh, jeez. That's good. Well, you heard it from the human. It seems that we did a pretty great job. It's like... Essentially, what we made here is an exploding bacon ranch pizza in sourdough bowl form. There's really no way to screw this up, I don't think. So, just from this first stab at it, what I would emphasize is that you really get the cheese and the bacon as deep inside the cuts as you can. So it really infuses the soft inside of the sourdough with the flavor. It's pretty awesome. And I think Wolf is in a coma and I'm going to have to take a nap after this. So we'll give it another stab or Wyoming will, Wyoming and Dan will, and then we'll see how theirs turns out. Bye. Oh, by the way, I'm sure some of you are wondering, uh, given the show, shouldn't you guys be cooking something healthy? Well, today is not that day. Sorry. <laughs>